Good day everyone, I'm Gerald Tan and I'm here to demonstrate on how to properly connect the laptop to a projector. But first, we we'll identify the equipments needed. We have our personal laptop, the projector, an automatic voltage regulator, power cord, a VGA cord, a projector screen or any white background, and lastly, the clicker. And after that, we'll identify the parts of a projector. Mainly, the box. The box or a frame. This encloses the parts of a projector. Inside of this, we can find the lens, the motherboard, the fan, and the most delicate part, the lamp. And the outside portion of this, we could find the focus lens. The focus lens could be turned left or right depending on the clarity of the image projected. This is the zoom lever. The zoom lever function is to change the size of the image. To better match the screen, you could turn this left or right, or perhaps you could move the projector further to maximize the desired image projected. Underneath of this, we could find the adjustable feet. The adjustable fit purpose is to elevate the lens from where the projector is placed on. Now this is the control panel. The control panel locates the power button, the menu button, and the settings of a projector. At the back of the projector, we could find here the power terminal. USB port, HDMI port, a VGA output, the two VGA inputs, audio and video port, SVJOS, RS232. Now let's proceed on connecting the projector to the AVR. Connect the power cord to the power terminal and the mail plug to the AVR. Next, let's proceed on connecting the VGA connector. Gently insert it and don't forget to tighten the screws. At the other end, insert it to the laptop. Let's turn on our AVR. And click once at the power of the projector. Now let's proceed on a demonstration proper. My topic is about driving in C2. Now the driving in C2 has 118 hours nominal duration. This course is designed to equip the individual the desirable attitude and skills of the land transport light vehicle driver in accordance with industry standards including the regulatory requirements issued by the appropriate regulatory bodies, government and or private. A person who has achieved this qualification is competent to have a driver's license. A driver's license has two types, the professional driver and the light vehicle or a non-professional driver. This also has eight restrictions. Now let's discuss about a non-professional driver. A non-professional driver is restricted and allowed to drive a motorcycle, a motorized tricycle, a vehicle up to 4,500 kilograms or the gross vehicle weight. Well, the professional driver is qualified to drive like everything you see on the road. 
Like for example, heavy equipments, buses, large truck, and all the non-professional drivers could drive. The unit of competency comprises this qualification including the following. First is a basic competency, second is the common competency, and the third is the core competency. Let's focus on the third one. The four core competency comprise the following. First is carry out vehicle maintenance and servicing. Second is the drive light vehicle. Third is obey unobserved traffic rules and regulations. The fourth one is implement and coordinate accident emergency procedures. Let's discuss the first one. The first you see is to carry out minor vehicle maintenance and servicing. We have our first learning outcome is the light vehicle unit. The second is maintain and service the vehicle system. When we say about clean vehicle. Well, from the looks of it, we must first consider the fact that a clean vehicle is more appropriate than a dirty one. And most especially, to clean the plate number of the vehicle. Well, if not, you could be apprehended by the officers. Well, let's proceed to the second UC, which is the drive light vehicle. Under of the drive light vehicle is the learning outcome of perform light vehicle pre-starting and warm up. Second outcome is the drive light vehicle. And the third is to monitor and maintain the vehicle performance. When we say about the pre-starting and warm-up, well, every morning or every time that you turn on your vehicle, just warm it up a little, for it will prolong the life of your vehicle. Next you see is to obey unobserved traffic rules and regulation. The first learning outcome is observe traffic signs and road markings. The second is obey traffic rules and regulations. The third is practice courtesy. The fourth one is respect traffic enforcers and other traffic management unit. In the road, if you are a driver, you must consider the fact that there are rules that must be followed. And also practice the courtesy of being an open-minded open -minded driver. For in the road, you must always consider the fact that an accident is just in the corner. The next is to implement and coordinate accident emergency procedures. We have our first learning outcome is to respond to emergencies. The second learning outcome is to arrange follow-up support and assistance. When we say about respond to emergency, well, if you drive on the road, and you see someone in an accident, just respond for any, if you have the time, you must help someone in need. And that comprises my report. After that, let's proceed on turning off our devices. In the laptop, just gently long press the power button. That's it. And for the projector, just press twice the power button. You can hear a beep. And let's turn off the ADR. Let's take out our power cord. Second is the VGA connector, starting with the laptop. And the other end, and tighten the screws from the projector. And wait for a couple of minutes for the projector to cool down. And that would be all, thank you.